morning guys, welcome to day 22. Um, I've just checked out my hostel in Malacca and I'm now at Malacca Central bus station which looks a lot like any other bus station. Uh, jumping on the bus to KL, we're one night in KL and then I'm flying to Chiang Mai. So um, excited to see a little bit of KL. I've been there before but we're going to check out the Petronas Towers and do some touristy shit and I will see you guys in Kuala Lumpur. So see you. just at the bus station um, which is kind of in the south of Kuala Lumpur I have ordered an uber because I'm lazy you can get the train from the train terminal which is just over there um, but I'm lazy so I've ordered an uber because uh, it's like three pound to get an uber to my hotel so waiting for the uber gonna check into the hotel and then gonna go and check out the sky bar uh, so that we can get a good view over KL so we're gonna do that this evening uh, I'm only in KL for about 14 hours so this is gonna be a real whistle stop tour of KL so uh, yeah stay tuned so I just got to my hotel I'm staying at the gold three boutique hotel I thought I'd splash out tonight and spend 15 pound on a hotel room which is pretty expensive uh, this is what you get for 15 quid so a nice bed, some towels, TV, a desk with tea, water, coffee, and then the bathroom. Hi. So I'm staying in Bucket Bintang, um, which is surrounded by shopping malls and stuff like that. I'm going to get changed into something a little bit more respectable because I'm going up to the Sky Bar in Traders Hotel, um, which is a little bit smarter than obviously what I'm kind of wearing right now. Um, so I'm going to put a shirt on, make myself look a little bit, little bit better, and then head out exploring around KL. So I'll see you in a bit. So I made myself look a little bit more presentable and I'm just walking up to the Traders Hotel. Uh, Sky Bar's on like the 30th floor, so gonna go up to the Sky Bar, have a drink up there and film kind of the views from there. It's about a 10 minute walk from the hotel I'm staying in, um, so it's not exactly that far. So I'm gonna go and find this place and take you guys with me. I've just got to Traders Hotel. I'm in the lift going up to the 33rd floor. 32, 33 and here we are. So there's a pool and bar up here, so let's go and check it out. Guys, so here I am up at the Sky Bar. I'm going to give you a quick tour of the place. First of all, there are the views of the Petronas Towers, but we'll get a better shot of that in a second. There's a pool over here. The bar area. And this is my seat for the next hour or two. Guys, so here's the view from the Sky Bar. Uh, I'm up on the 33rd floor of the Traders Hotel, and as you'll see, there's no window uh, here. So you can get an amazing view of the Traders Towers and everything else. So I'm gonna do a quick time lapse for you, so stay tuned and watch, check out this time lapse. Um, it was pretty good the views as you'll see are pretty amazing um, it's pretty much the best place to look at the Petronas Towers so I got some decent shots from up there I'm now walking through the park uh, which is where I am at the moment this is the park with all the people doing their running I'm walking through the park to the towers which you will see just through those trees um, so I'm gonna take a walk over to there um, you know get some more shots of the towers and then to be honest I'll probably call it call it a night um, 
I'm exhausted. Um, Malacca really took it out of me. It was a couple of days of pretty hard partying. So um, uh, yeah, I'm going to take it easy for uh, for tonight before I catch my flight at 10 in the morning tomorrow. So um, yeah, let's go and have a wander around and see what else we can find. Here we are at the base of the Petronas Towers. Uh, it's a lovely walk through the park. It's a beautiful park just surrounding the towers. Uh, and there's loads of fountains, which I will get a shot of in a minute. Um, but yeah, here we are. Here's the base of the towers. You can see them there. Interesting facts. Uh, it only took six years to build both of the towers. The most difficult part of the project was actually the sky bridge, which you can see in the middle. It is the highest two-story sky bridge uh, of its kind and it took them three days to get it in place because the crane that was lifting it into place um, was hit by a thunderstorm and shorted out and the sky bridge was hanging there for 24 hours whilst they fixed the, the crane. So there's some interesting facts about the Petronas Towers. Um, there's a shot of kind of the park and you know decent shot of the rest of uh, well you know another part of Kuala Lumpur as well and you can see the fountains over there so um, it's, it's really beautiful you know it's a really um, uh, really quite a pretty park and, and you know, a really nice place. So I'm going to go for a wander inside the towers. Um, I don't think I can get it very far in without paying and I'm not going to pay when I just got a much better view from uh, the sky bar. So um, I will have a wander in and see what we can find. Guys, so that's it for day 22. I'm back in my hotel room after having uh, a few hours of wandering around Kuala Lumpur. Um, we got to see the Petronas Towers and uh, I showed you the view from the sky bar and things like that. So we've seen a couple of things, but really, uh, you know, I'm only in KL to catch a flight. So I've done a quick blitz of the place. So I just went out for some dinner uh, and I'm now back in my hotel room. I've got a flight to catch at about 10 in the morning. So I'm gonna try and get a good night's sleep uh, as I've got a double bed to myself, which I'm quite excited about. And then, yeah, I will catch you guys on day 23. Um, keep sharing, keep subscribing. Keep watching the videos and uh, join me on the journey from Kuala Lumpur to Chiang Mai in Northern Thailand tomorrow. Peace out.